Hi, my name is Misael from Adapt Lab, and today I'm going to show you how to install these MSD ignition coils onto these 1UZ ignition coil brackets. So, first off, the OEM coils are great, they're reliable, uh, they usually don't go that bad, but we want a little bit more, and that's the reason why we came up with this kit. We want to get a bigger, more powerful coil onto our ignition coil brackets, and this kit is going to allow you to adapt this coil onto these brackets. But first, I want to distinguish first generation and second generation 1UZ brackets. Both of them are gonna be non-VVTI, so we're talking from 1992 to 1997. So, on the first generation engines, you have these two brackets. Now, this bracket here can be found on the passenger side, and this one can be found on the driver side. For reference, we are gonna use USDM because we're located here in Orlando, Florida. So we're just going to stay with that. For the second generation kit, again, this is still on the passenger side, but the bracket actually changes for the second generation. The coil on the second generation is going to point the ignition coil this way, and on the first generation, it's actually going to be standing up just like that. Okay, so now we are going to go over what comes in the kit and what you need to do to get these onto your OEM brackets. Okay, so first before we start, I wanna show you what comes in the kit for the first generation 1UZ MSD kit. So you have two powder coated adapter brackets, one with six holes, one with five. You get two spark plug wires that are equal length. You get two wires here with um, the black connectors and they're gonna be a different length and that's gonna be important because they don't go on the same side. You have these connectors here that are not used, but are used to cover the terminals of the ignition coils because there's actually four terminals instead of two. But again, just for protection, you get the hardware assortment here with one washer, and that's what you should expect. Okay, so we are going to start on the first generation kit on the install. First things first, you will have to do this on the first and second generation. So as you see, this bracket is uncut completely OEM as it comes from factory. And this one has been modified, it has been cut. And the biggest differences you'll see is that's cut there and then this is no longer here. This is a tab that holds the original connector that connects to the OEM ignition coil. You will have to get these cut and out of the way so that way the coil is able to fit in this bracket. Nothing else needs to be modified, only this bracket here. So. Again, follow this line, cut there, cut there, cut, and maybe either bend it or cut it completely like I did on here, and then it'll work for you, no problem. Okay, so we're first gonna start with the first generation kit. So I'm gonna use this uh, non-powder coated bracket just to show you. These holes here in the middle, they are not threaded, and those are the ones that we're gonna go for right now. These holes here are threaded, and we are actually going to be passing through these small little socket head screws right there. Okay, so as you see, these threaded holes here, and they're gonna go through the adapter plate into the OEM bracket. Just those two. You need a three millimeter Allen, and you will need a three millimeter Allen for all of the hardware that we provide. And then what you're going to want to do is use the, the longer cable and the black connector gets installed first. Make sure it clips. And then you use the gray connector to, again, we're not gonna be using these, but uh, you want to cover so nothing gets in there. You are going to pass it through just like that, push it down, and then that's why you wanna get rid of the tab here. You wanna make sure that you have enough room. So there you go. And then you have four socket head screws, 16 millimeters in length, and then you will fasten each corner of the ignition coil. Make sure you thread them in first and we are going to tighten these up. Okay. 
okay and that's how it looks like installed and we will take one of the spark plug wires doesn't matter for the first generation kit but there's one side that is male there's one side that's female what's female is going to go on to the male end of the msd kit and then how you took off your oem bracket you bolt it back on plug and play goes into the oem harness just like that okay so on the driver's side this is the bracket you have for the first generation kit and here's my adapter plate this one's going to have five holes as you see i have the bolts already threaded in there for where they go but the easiest way to do this one i feel is to actually put the coil into the bracket first into the adapter plate excuse me you're going to put the medium length bolt first into these holes again don't tighten it with the tool make sure you line up the bolts with the thread first leave it somewhat loose as you see it has a little bit of play that's good and then we are going to actually have the coil like that and then these holes here do not have threads and we're going to have bolts that pass through and you're going to use these smaller bolts to attach it to the adapter plate so now you have a 20 millimeter socket head bolt this one is actually going to go through the msd through the adapter plate and into the oem threads right here on the oem bracket and this is why you don't want to tighten everything else up first so that way you have a little bit of wiggle room to find the threads all the way on the OEM bracket. And now since everything is somewhat snug, now you are going to tighten it up and we're gonna tighten up this one first. Then these. And then now the smaller ones in the back. And then that is how this is supposed to look. When you attach this back to the engine, this bolt right here, this is the OEM bolt off the head. It's gonna go through that bracket and to make a little bit more space, you'll have to put the bolt here and then there is a provided washer and then you'll have to bolt it into the engine. And the way I recommend it, the way um, I install it, I like to hold it like this where I'll put my finger here, put the washer here, so I'm kind of holding it so the washer doesn't fall out. Make sure it meets the head and then try to slowly spin it, thread it in, and once you get it in, that's fine. Then you just have to attach your last 10 millimeter bolt and that will go back on just like that. And just like the passenger side, we have our black connector wire, goes in here. Again, plug and play into the OEM harness, no cutting, no modifications. You put in your gray connector to protect the other two terminals. And then you find your female connection on your spark plug wire and you will attach it there. And then this will go on your distributor cap and you're completely done with first generation kit. Okay, so here I'm gonna show you what comes in the second generation MSD kit. We have two spark plug wires, but as you see on this one, one spark plug wire is longer than the other one, which will go on the driver side. We have two brackets. The passenger side bracket is gonna be six holes, just like the first gen kit. However, the second gen kit has a thicker plate with only four holes specifically made for this OEM bracket, which again, the ignition coil is facing towards the radiator. And then these connectors here, this is all going to be the same, but the hardware assortment will be different specifically because we changed the adapter plate for the second generation kit. Okay, so now we're going to install our MSD kit on our second generation ignition coil bracket. Again, this is the adapter plate that you're going to need. The three holes here are going to align with this side. And the first thing you're going to do, you're going to grab for the smallest 
socket head. I'm going to put it through the hole and line it up there. And we're not going to be using that one. Okay, double check, wiggle it around. Use your three millimeter Allen to tighten it down. Now, before you fully tighten it up, make sure this hole is aligned. Because unfortunately, you do have to cover it. Take your three millimeter Allen. You're gonna press it down. Okay, make sure again, one more time. The ignition coil goes in like this. Make sure that hole is aligned like that. You're gonna take your 20 millimeter, find the threads, okay, find it. And then you're gonna get two 16 millimeters. Okay, that's it attached. And now we are going to hook up the wires. The short one is gonna go short one always goes on the driver's side no matter which kit you're using it's gonna be like that actually we already have that one on here and the longer wire spark plug wire because these are this one's a little bit longer as you can see here so let me show you a little better again longer one will go on the driver's side and for the second generation kit this is how it's supposed to look and again just like on the first generation that I have next to me off camera 14 millimeter bolts to the head and then a 10 millimeter right here and this one can go back on and that's how you install the kits once you have the assembly bolted onto the engine we got to do some spark plug wire management usually the OEM spark plug is a five millimeter uh, spark plug wire that can go directly into this slot. However, we now have a eight millimeter cable that now needs to be properly handled and taken care of. So that way it doesn't go all over the place. So we made these little spark plug wire holders right here. And these, we have two, one for each side, and these are gonna go into this slot. So again, the five millimeter wires usually go in here. But what we're going to do, we're going to take these. There is a stop on one of these. I'm going to take these, push this into here. And it is a very tight fit, so you will have to push. Be a little aggressive with it. We made these very, very tight, so that way they do not fall out into the timing belt assembly. And as you see, that's it pushed in. And then now your spark plug wire can go on it and be held and it's actually pretty tight. So what I always advise people to do when they assemble this, this is the side that's gonna go into the distributor cap. You push this in here. And I always like, um, since this will be tied down, there's a bolt here and I believe there's another bolt here. What I always tell people to do, put a little bit of tension on it, it'll be fine. So that way this doesn't droop and go down. But as you can see, this is actually pretty tightly held here. So after the whole assembly that we just went over is bolted on the car, this will be the last thing you'll need to do with the spark plug wire. And that's it, you're ready to rock and roll.